Welcome back to our wrap-up of Aptera Motor second day at CES 2025 in Las Vegas. We'll check out some new and fascinating details provided by our friends on-site and look at some media coverage. If you like those wrap-ups, click that subscribe button and like the video. Thanks so much. Let's first enjoy a little tour with Chris, filmed by David Huerta and published by our friends at Drive the Lightning. Our production intent vehicle on display as well as an exploded view of our chassis and bank. So this is pretty amazing. It's night and day from Gamma, which I didn't think I would ever say. But we have full solar on this vehicle, all the exterior and interior components. It's quite remarkable how the sun is reflecting off of it. And we've been driving the track vehicle a lot. Uh, we were over down at Bagel Mania do, giving media rides in the track vehicle. And uh, yeah, yesterday we, we actually solar charged and were able to do you know, 20 miles of driving and lose no charge. Pretty remarkable stuff. Got so, the airbag, the yoke. The whole center console is uh, redone from Gamma, obviously, and it's it's incredible. You have the phone holder. Underneath that's actually storage for two USB-C ports, so you can charge your phone and have the cord come up through the middle. Document holder. We have the UI up and running as well. And uh, yeah, even the little sun visors are so cute. They're the, the new design. Stuff. And so, if you want to come to the trunk here, you can just see how obviously big it is, all of the forged carbon fiber. And we also have the tie down hooks and the cargo net hooks. So, you know, full interior is uh, fully complete. We can check out the cargo bunk if you guys want to see it. So we got, we got the room down there for whatever you need. <laughs> um, and even the charge port, obviously, it's now uh, spring loaded. So you just pop this tab, boom. And we got the Tesla plug right there. So pretty awesome. All the bumper materials, everything is, uh, is ready to go. And these are the production lights. I mean, it's, it's something else. So wish you were here, uh, but this is pretty remarkable. If we want to go look at the chassis real quick, we can. Coastamp is our uh, chosen supplier for the chassis. They're extremely capable. So this is a uh, extruded component and also some cast components as well. So this massive rear portion of the suspension and the front rails are cast. Uh, these are still low volume tool, but this is the exact method they will be using for the high volume uh, chassis. And yeah, you can see even things like this. This is to aid in crash. These crumple and crash. Um, this is really high density crash foam that absorbs a lot of impact. And then also the great thing about the way the chassis design, if you come in here, you see this slanted piece. This puts the motor underneath the passengers uh, in a frontal impact. So it, it deflects the motor to go underneath the vehicle um, so everybody stays safe. The full battery pack, we have that running on the track vehicle with the full motor, full solar, all our low voltage PDU and electronics. Awesome. Thanks. One of the new details only revealed a few hours ago is the cooling system underneath the vehicle. Steve from Aptera Owners Club and Raj on his channel did provide some insights. I wanted to show you guys the air intake because the air intake we thought was coming in under the cowl there, but it turns out that they've now put in the air intake underneath the vehicle here. So it, it's a little hard to tell, but you see that little black um, line in the midline? Okay, I'm gonna go get closer here. That is the air intake right here. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get closer to it. And actually my, uh, my phone is touching and my phone is about a little over six inches long. Um, and so the, the the ground clearance at the midline is about six inches. And you see it, it, the air intake splits into two. There's a radiator on each side. So it splits the airflow in two, the radiator is on each side. And then that right, that grill is the air exhaust area. They do not know how much uh, impact that is, gonna, that is gonna have on the aerodynamics. They're gonna be testing that over the next month or two, so we should see results of the, the efficiency testing within the next month or two. And I did talk to one of the engineers and they said this is over-engineered. At this point, it will be smaller. I'm curious how much smaller for production, but and what kind of drag this will have. This is what it looks like and it does stick down a bit. If you kind of follow this, this is, got two kind of paths that it follows. So here's the intake here. You can see how it splits 
on both sides here. And if we keep following that, it goes, this is intake here, goes up the car, goes inside and then actually comes out. I guess you call this exhaust in a way. Or there it comes out again. So the full kind of airflow is here. There's one on each side and comes out this. That was a nice insight about ongoing developments on the production intent vehicle number four. Keeping the wrap up for today sweet and short, we'll get into the UI, front will swivel and other stuff in the video tomorrow. As our friends at CES reported, while we glide into the evening in Europe, lines to sit in the Aptera are constantly very long. For now, thanks for watching, like and subscribe and take care.